Alrighty, so uh, today, I apologize, I'm out of breath. Uh, this is elevations. I'm, whew, seriously. I've been in Colorado for two weeks and still, whew. All right, so um, it's been raining basically nonstop. Uh, so much so that I have very seriously contemplated leaving Colorado on more than one occasion. Uh, as you see all around me, nasty thunderstorms. It's just, there's no reprieve really. Locals are having a great laugh at it. You know, like I, I went to Silverton a couple of few times and it's like, they're having a blast. <laughs> They're like, yeah, those, you know, those out of staters, you know, we're gonna stick it to them, sort of thing. So, um, I chose not to continue on this trail for two reasons. Uh, the first one being the weather, obviously. Well, actually, let's make it three reasons. Uh, the second is the road conditions. Uh, and the third is uh, the weather conditions. So, I found a clearing, uh, basically, to get me. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna butcher this name, okay? Uh, it's basically virtually unpronounceable. It's uh, pronounced something along the lines of uh, Popier or Propier or something to do with that. Honestly, after fighting road conditions to get here, um, yeah. So, uh, further up, the road narrows substantially. Uh, the road is really slippery, oh my goodness. It's like driving on freaking ice. I, I, I said, that's it, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm just not, not even gonna, you know, coming down with, uh, I got rain rolling in from over there. I got rain rolling in from over there. Uh, this over there, thankfully, doesn't have rain yet. There's rain right there, and I have to go down the hill and that way so there's really no easy way to get down from here so let me spin you around a little bit the road itself isn't that difficult uh by any stretch of the means uh, like on on a sunny day i am sure this is a very picturesque sort of drive uh, it is as you see over there twisting and winding and twisting and winding and basically goes all the way down there um, some of it is off camber, especially at the very beginning. It's very off-putting uh, if you're not used to driving off camber. Uh, and now that it's also slippery, uh, it's not a place where you want to be. Now, uh, somewhere in between all of this, it, the, the trail itself isn't difficult. But once you get to like this side of the uh, switchbacks, it gets a little bit slippery when the rock is wet. Um, which is kind of the reason why I decided not to proceed because <laughs> it's like you have to be crazy so further up this way um, this is a gulch I believe um, and basically I'm pretty sure that right around that corner is where that trail ends and it's gonna be this kind of rock with that uh, waterfall trickling down not that I haven't seen before uh, this being 12 and a half thousand feet in elevation, uh, it's kind of up in there, isn't it? Uh, as such, you, you have a whole bunch of weather uh, stuff going on. You still have the snow. I'm pretty sure hail is about to roll in. That's about the only patch of, uh, blue sky over there. This keeps coming my way at a very alarming pace. I'm already getting wet. Um, so, uh, you know, if it was sunny, I would probably just keep walking on foot. Uh, I would say it's fairly fine probably when it's dry, but road conditions are just, as you see. So what I'll do is I'll mosey over back into my pickup truck, close the windows and continue the conversation there. Because otherwise I'm about to get wet. <laughs> 